Go to the coast, we get together, have a few laughs. As we know it, but we just got a report in that there's been some sort of explosion at the World Trade Center in New York City. One report said, and we can't confirm any of this, that a plane may have hit one of the two towers of the World Trade Center. But again, you're seeing the live pictures here. In the 1988 blockbuster hit movie Die Hard, the movie begins with a plane landing in Los Angeles from New York. As many of you know, three of the four planes used for the 9-11 attacks were headed to California. Out of the four airplanes, only one did not hit its target. The intro scene takes place inside of an airplane where John McClane, an annoying passenger, begins to suggest how to rid airplane anxiety. The choice of numbers and the order used for this scene is quite interesting. You don't like flying, do you? I know, I know, it sounds crazy. Trust me, I've been doing it for nine years. Yes, sir, better than a shower and a hot cup of coffee. <laughs> okay. Trust me, I've been doing this for 11 years. I know, I know, it sounds crazy. Trust me, I've been doing it for nine years. I've been doing this for 11 years. Me, I've been doing it for nine years. It's for 11 years. For nine years. It's for 11, 11 years. years. Coincidence? An airplane landing in Los Angeles from New York? A movie about badass terrorists using 9-11 in that particular order? Add all that up, but you got some badass perpetrators that are here to stay. Of course, we couldn't make it through a conspiracy video without pointing out the use of the all-seeing eye. The famous occult symbol utilized by secret societies and pop culture is found before John McClane ascends to the 30th floor. Here, one of the terrorists is trying to cut communications in the Nakatomi Tower. He then switches something and the numbers change into two upside down 9-11s, showing there will be two towers involved in the September 11th attacks. Even if it were a coincidence, this is still pretty damn entertaining. More numbers are presented in this scene and appear to be in the form of years. The years could be describing a message about the future based on major events associated with each year. The encrypted message points towards the September 11th attacks. Here's how it all breaks down. In 1735, Paul Revere rode his horse to Lexington to warn the Minutemen that the British were coming. He is symbolic in the American Revolution and made history. He was the messenger for the Patriots. 1735 represents a message. 1885, the Statue of Liberty arrives in New York after being shipped across the Atlantic Ocean from France. 1885 is symbolic of freedom. 1973, on this year, the Twin Towers were dedicated and formally opened. At the time, the Twin Towers were the tallest buildings in the world. They are represented by two 1973 digits. In between, you have 1911. This represents the two towers will be attacked on September 11. 1776, on July 4th, the Declaration of Independence was announced. The year 1776 represents the United States. Coincidentally, 1776 is also the year when the Illuminati was established. The encoded message can read, a message to the United States that your freedom will be attacked using the two towers on 9-11. Minoru Yamasaki was the architect for the Twin Towers. Each tower was 110 stories high. In the scene where a car is shot up by a terrorist, the car used is 110 or 110, the same number of stories of the Twin Towers. Surprisingly, at the end of the movie Die Hard, it foreshadows what the 9-11 scene will look like. Interestingly enough, the two buildings on the left-hand side look very similar to the Twin Towers. This is because Nimoto also designed these buildings as well. They're called the Century Plaza Towers. Who knew? Better me call your pants down, huh? <laughs> John McClane runs around barefoot while fighting bad guys most of this movie. While I was never convinced if this added or took away from the drama, there is a religious tie to walking barefoot. Why is this important? Because it ties to Islam, which is the reported religion of the alleged hijackers of 9-11. Here's what the biographies of the elite lives of scholars, imams, and hadith masters say about walking barefoot. Shall I not inform you of the one who will carry the lightest burden on the day of judgment in front of Allah? It is the one who races towards good deeds walking barefoot. 
Angel Gabriel told me Allah looks kindly upon a servant who walks barefoot in the search of good from the biographies of the elite lies of the scholars, imams, and hadith masters. There were some other interesting correlations, but I didn't think they were good enough to tie them in with the 9-11 attacks. However, here they are. The character Al, who drives the car 110, has a comedic obsession with Twinkies, even to the point of memorizing their ingredients, claiming they are just about everything a grown boy needs as they seen in the first two films. Policemen are often stereotyped with obsessions with donuts and not Twinkies. The word Twinkies has the word twin, and Al does drive the car 110, which is the story height of the Twin Towers. This was pretty interesting, but not enough to tie it in with 9-11. Hans gives the police two hours to comply. We'll be given further instructions. You have two hours to comply. Two FBI agents with the same last name, Johnson. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm Agent Johnson. This is Special Agent Johnson. Two cigarettes. You smoke? Yeah. Two helicopters. Did you get that? Uh, some about a double cross. Tell me about it. Two bullets. And McLean also has two kids. I noticed the use of pairs and twos as breadcrumbs to get people to follow maybe the 9 11 connection. For example, two FBI agents named Johnson makes no sense to me. However, I didn't think it was strong enough, but again, interesting to note. Here we see a possible Freemason symbol appear in front of Hans. The conspiracy theory of the 9-11 attacks is it's associated with secret societies like the Freemason group. In the end, we'll never know if these movies are demonstrating some sort of hint that 9-11 was planned a long time ago. It is very coincidental the various things found in several movies like Die Hard, and it's difficult to simply ignore them. At the very least, I will entertain the idea, but not completely surrender all my logic and reason. Thank you for watching.